let you know that I love you, buddy. I'm Thank really you. glad to be down here and that we're doing this together. Okay. Good morning, my friend. Where are you right now? I'm at a vacant house. You're at a vacant house. Yeah. Already real estating this morning at Thursday morning at 943, working through the technical difficulties. So good morning. Good morning, brother. By eight o'clock this morning, I had already set up five showings, typed up two listing agreements, and called Amanda Todd. Wow. Well, fantastic. Uh, yeah. well, hey, good morning, my brother. What city are you in? I am in Murrieta. And you are based out of? Temecula. Temecula. All right. Well, hey. Um, okay. So um, you and I have been on this journey for a little while, not as long as probably both of us had hoped, uh, but uh, I'm uh, grateful to be on it with you. There's a lot of really cool things happening in the office right now, a lot of new programs that we are implementing. But the first thing that I would like to uh, congratulate you on is I'd like to say happy RevShare Day. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I, uh, I had uh, some money deposited. I get this email that I didn't know what it was. It was like, Wells Fargo something, something, something. And I was like, what the hell is this? And I clicked on it and I was like, oh, it's RevShare. Zach's first RevShare day. Um, and what's really cool is when that snowball gets going, uh, you'll be in a position hopefully where I am and where Golden is, where uh, I actually, four escrows, five escrows have closed in the last three days that I had nothing to do with. And uh, so that's pretty fantastic. So um, anyway, congratulations to you. Um, Thank you. And how did you find out about EXP? And I, uh, good morning, Karen, Karen Monica Gilmore. Uh, Karen, fellow veteran, uh, says good morning to you. Good morning. Aloha, Karen. Um, I don't remember how I found out about EXP. I think we were out on this on your book tour in my book that is still in the process. And exactly, there it is. There it is. And uh, somebody had mentioned EXP to us. And... I, you know, at that time, that was what, two years ago now, a year and a half ago, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, I started, uh, I started talking about it at that point. And, uh, and I said, no, not right now. Uh, what's EXP? You're weird. Don't bring <laughs> it up again. Right. And, uh, and he said, I really think we should go to EXP. And I said, negative. Um, so we didn't go to EXP. Um, what ends up happening? Well, we went to a different brokerage, a fairly well-known one, and a great place, you know. But it just wasn't uh, wasn't the right fit. And the whole time that I was there, I was thinking, I really want to go to EXP. I really want to go to EXP. And then you went to EXP, and I was like, you turd. And so then, out of spite, I stayed at the other brokerage for another I don't know three or four months, closed some more escrows, and then I finally a said, okay. Longer than that. But the thing is, is uh, is I actually I didn't leave one brokerage for another. Um, like a lot of people did, I took uh, time off. I took a hiatus. And uh, and when I stepped back, I decided mm -hmm. to come back to EXP. And uh, good morning to Casey, to William Gill, who has uh, joined um, our organization and uh, stepped into agent ownership. Good morning, my brother. And another veteran. All the veterans are up this morning and uh, and working. So, um, so Zach, so you end up coming to EXP, and what's been your experience so far? Good. I mean, it's it, any brokerage can be good if you choose to make it good. You know, EXP just has more tools. There's more tools and there's more opportunity. And that's the reason that I liked it from the beginning is there's just, it's easy to be successful if you want to be successful. And that's, that's what I'm seeing is there's, there's a lot, there's a lot. There's, they, they just, they, it's like a fire hose where they just go, here's everything that you possibly can want. All you have to do is grab onto a little bit of it. Just grab a little bit. EXP has more tools than Zackbox cell phone. I don't know about that, but. Flip that thing around. Show everybody what you're working with. So I bought a new selfie stick recently because mine was old. And I for today's show, it's got a light on it. It's got a light so I can illuminate me when I'm in dark places. And it swivels now. So I have a swivelly, a swivelly selfie stick. And so it even has a Bluetooth thing on it. So vain. I love you though. You know, uh, it's got a stand. And it's got a stand. <laughs> Stacy Elliott out in Beverly Hills, who is uh, working with us in our organization, another agent owner. Uh, good morning to you, my friend. So, Zach, um, we've started really ramping things up at EXP. People are opening escrows, they're taking listings. And I really um, cannot take any ownership of that. I cannot take any of the credit. You've really been in the trenches with everybody uh, as a servant leader. You popped over to my house yesterday. I was installing carpet in the garage and you just jumped in and started installing carpet with me. People, when they need to move, you help them move. 
you're just that guy. You're always out there serving people and helping people out. I don't know if it's part of being an Eagle Scout or if it's in your blood, but uh, but so you're serving people. You're a servant leader. You're you're what's going on? What's what's happening right now? Because everyone's watching. Everyone's seeing what's happening. What's going on at DXP? So um, it, it is. It's generating momentum. I got a call on the way here this morning. I'm not going to take their thunder away uh, from an agent who just. Um, it has the possibility of opening another escrow here today or tomorrow, uh, but I'm not going to take their thunder. I'll let them make that announcement on their own. Um, and it's people are listening is the biggest thing. They're listening to what you're saying. They're listening to what I'm saying. They're going back to the basics. You know, I sat down with Christian Stone and, you know, it, it's amazing when you talk to somebody who sells tons and tons and tons of houses, how simple it can be if you choose it to be. And a lot of the agents are simply just listening. They're saying, okay, I'll go hold open houses. I'll get on the phones. I'll make some, you know, I'll go knock on some doors. You don't need or to reinvent the wheel. Like Darren Campbell says, dumb it down and speed it up. Yep. Keep it simple, stupid. You know, and, and, you know, I, one of my favorite quotes recently that I heard and now I've forgotten where I heard it was don't make easy hard. And I think that that's kind of what a lot of our agents are doing now is they're, they're, they're simplifying everything and they're realizing that, you know, your cell phone alone, you have business then if you just choose to, to exploit that and call those people. And, and that's where what you're doing is you're helping people to come in on day one and start creating business for themselves. They're not coming in and watching you and, and going to a training class. Eventually you understand that people need to get paid right now. And so you're encouraging them to have courage and step into their and step into their greatness and start dialing, start working, start door knocking. And people scoff at this stuff. They say, "Oh, they're out at open houses. Open houses don't work. Oh, they're door knocking, door knocking. Oh, they're dialing." And the, the, you, you've been catching some flack. And what I love about it is that it's now working. The the the, the fruit of uh, our labor is here now. And so uh, you won the, the the door knocking competition with the XP. You guys went out there and you won it. Uh, you won the national call day competition. Um, it's very clear that what you're doing right now and what we are doing uh, as a synergistic group is working. We're creating other leaders. We're finding other leaders and we're bringing them in and saying, lead us, help us with leadership, help us to establish it. And uh, and so it's been a lot of fun doing that. Um, what has been the biggest part of your success so far at EXP? Um, honestly, doing exactly everything that you just said is um, – I've realized that agents, um, you know, you can talk about revenue share and we can talk about stocks and we can talk about all this stuff. And yes, they're good. They're fa it's a fantastic program. But what a lot of agents just want to do is just sell houses. And where a lot of a lot of what they don't get oftentimes is how do you sell houses? And you know, that's when yesterday when we sat down, create the agent revamp program, you know, one month of training, one day a week where it's going through the basics, you know, contracts, yep. setting you know, social media and just, it's getting these agents to where they don't show up at a brokerage day one and go, okay, what do I do? Uh, go call Fizbo's and expires. You know, that doesn't work for a lot of people. They need to focus on their sphere first, you know, call the people that already know, like, and trust you. And, um, we are, uh, we're, we're over complicating it. We're over coaching. <laughs> we're doing the CRMs. We're doing, we're joining all these accountability groups. And what we really need to do is just sell houses. And you said something to me yesterday when we were uh, putting down carpet in my garage, you said, uh, you said, you know, I understand that, you know, you hated real estate and whatnot. And I said, you know, I, I didn't hate real estate. I hated some things about real estate, but I really, at the end of the day, I love real estate. I love the opportunities that it provides me and my family. I love that I'm able to help other people with their families. Real estate is a great business to be a part of. It's just, there's a lot of badness around it because of the opportunities that are, are available. Yep. Yep. hundred percent true. hundred percent true. You know, and it's, um, it's amazing. If you just, if you just shift it a little bit and just focus on, focus on you and the people around you. And, um, you and I have had the discussion about negativity in the office, leave it at the door. You know, when I was in basic training for the air force, we had just had a day where we were getting yelled at all day and we were throwing beds around and yada, yada, yada. And, uh, then we had a test, a very important test that night. And, my MTI, my, my drill instructor came in and he came in the room and he said, I want you to imagine that there's an effort bucket. I won't use the language, but there's the effort bucket at the door. And you have to take all that negativity out of your brain and put it in the bucket. It'll still be there waiting when you get done doing what you need to do. But when you're at work, be at work, be present 
in what you're doing. You know, Gary Keller has the one thing um, that they wrote, and that's very true. Do the one thing. You know, show up. If your if your job that day is to insert 50 people into your CRM, put 50 people in your CRM, mm -hmm. but just get it done. Yeah, you know, just get it done and focus. If you're holding an open house, don't be sitting there scrolling Facebook all day in your open house. Now, if you're posting on Facebook and you're being proactive on your Facebook, then by all means. But if you're just scrolling Instagram to scroll Instagram, that's not being proactive. Use your time wisely. You know, I put the 15 open house challenge out there. Two people are doing it. Um, Cora and Karen, possibly Amy and Sky. We'll see. But everybody goes, oh my God, 15 open houses. Well, with putting out signs and holding the open houses, you're only at 90 hours a month doing 15 open houses and you can do all of your follow-up. You can do everything that you need to do, all your prospecting from an open house and 90 hours a month is th not even three quarters of a full-time job. A full-time job is 160 hours a month. And so um, it's amazing to me, you know, you look at Cora um, who's opening escrows, getting listings. She joined EXP right at the beginning of February. We have three months later and the work that she's doing for the past three months is coming to fruition. Mm -hmm. And what's yeah. awesome is because she's doing that, she's setting a precedence and other people are now stepping into that. And they're like, I want to be a part of that. How do yeah. I do this? And she's like, well, just come out with me. Just come out with me. Let's do it or do it on your own. And so the thing is, is it's been a really exciting thing to be a part of seeing other people step into leadership very quickly, um, uh, stepping into it together. And I think that it's absolutely changing the industry and changing the, the, the valley. And uh, Casey just said, you got another one. I'm on it. 15. No problem. Yeah. Uh, Another entrepreneur, another uh, another guy with uh, a corporate background who understands the value of hard work. And uh, and Casey, welcome to EXP, my brother. I'm so excited that you're here. So 30 day challenge. Uh, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about tell people really quick this four week thing that we're doing. It's going to be something that we do every month. Uh, yeah. Do you want to help? You want to break that down for everybody? Yeah. So the first week is going to be contracts. You know, let's just go through contracts with people, break it down of, you know, the four biggest contracts that they're going to use on, you know, their, their real estate career, go through those, break them down by line by line. Now EXP also offers that training. We do it every single week in the California state room where they go through a different contract and they can attend those as well. Um, and then also the board of realtors offers them, but we're going to offer them in house. So, and they're also going to go over, we're going to go over setting up templates and doing everything like that to make life easier. So they're not floundering when all of a sudden they go, oh my God, I need to write an offer. Um, the next week is going to be essentially lead gen and social media presence. How do you go through your social media and set it up? What do you need to do on Instagram and Facebook and Zillow and Realtor.com and Homes.com and yada, 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 and all these sites? What sites should you be on? The answer is all Generate of them. Generate your own leads to fish exactly. for yourself. And exactly. so week one is contracts, it's templates, it's setting up your systems at EXP. Week yep. two is now you're jumping into phishing digitally and, uh, and getting all of that set up. And then week three, talk to me about that. Week three is going to be your, how do I, basically, Jim, back to the basics. Open houses, door knocking, cold calling calling your sphere using the Ford model and the scripts and stuff like that. It's going to be very, very basic lead gen that works. No focusing on, well, I need to spend $10,000 on Facebook to generate 20 billion leads that I'm not going to follow up with anyway, but about how do I go back to the basics of getting right now business okay. and just generating momentum? expired packages going door knocking the things yeah. that people can do to generate business right now because people need to get paid. Not eventually. They don't need to get paid $400 a month. They need to get paid and getting paid requires knowing what to do, how to fish. And so, uh, so that's week three. And then what is week four? Week four is going to be your accountability. It's going to be, you know, accountability, scripting, getting together with a group and essentially saying, okay, what are our goals? Mm -hmm. Drilling down your goals, going, okay, this is my five year, my three, two, one month goal, one week goal, and then breaking those goals down to a daily habit. And realizing, okay, if you want to sell 24 houses a year, where do those need to come from? Okay, so I know that you got clients getting ready to meet you there in about three minutes. Just okay, so we'll, 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 we'll sum this up here really quick. But we got a four-week training uh, Wednesday morning starting in June. Uh, yep. Joe Caspel, uh, Paul Neeb, Zach Bach, and myself. Uh, Joe and Paul got the first two weeks. Zach and I got the second two. And we're doing that every month. So if you want to be a part of that, and, and if you just want to go and be a part of week four every week, and you want to do the coaching and mentoring and accountability, this is going to be collaborative. It's not going to be me and Zach talking at you for three hours. So nine, right. to, tw nine to 11, nine to 12 every Wednesday. Um, so, uh, to, and then because this is Copy and EXP, 
Let's talk about that coffee cup, handsome. What do so, you got going on? This is a cup that is covered with pictures of me and Jackson. I don't know how well it's coming through, if you can see the pictures or not. Yep, I can see them. But it's a basically, you, know, you have Jackson shooting his 22, us at Boy Scouts, Jackson on my shoulders at the fair, riding in the Bronco, all kinds of stuff. Um, um, but, that's, you know, it's uh, it's a, it's my, when I wake up in the morning, it's kind of like, oh yeah, get to work. You got, you got a little one to make sure that, you know, to make sure that he doesn't grow up in a trailer park like I did. That's right, my brother. And, uh, and I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm grateful for that, that upbringing. I'm grateful for the things that we've had. You know, you've been my best friend for over 25 years. I love having you around. Um, I wouldn't give back anything. I'm grateful for all of it. So, uh, Cora, your ears must have been ringing. She said, woohoo, I can't wait for this. Um, Cora, uh, listen to this from the beginning. We talked about you and that 30 day uh, challenge and all of your success. Leslie says, we need a week five about how to write a contract. Leslie, that's week one. That's week one, Les. You're welcome to come down and help teach that one, Leslie. Yeah. So, and that's the thing, Zach and P Joe and Paul and I, we don't want to be up there standing in front of everybody. We want, we want other leaders to step into these roles. We want these to be more of a mastermind than, uh, than getting talked at. So if you guys want to come be a part of what we are having going on here at EXP, reach out to Zach, reach out to myself, Zach, what do you, what is your message for all the fence sitters, the people sitting there, they've been considering EXP for eight months. Maybe they just heard about EXP a week ago. They have no idea what it is. Uh, what, what is your message to these people about what we have going on and how they can be a part of it? Ask questions, ask questions, look at the people that have come over already. And if they do more business than you, then realize, Hey, maybe there's a reason that they came over. But the biggest thing is just challenge us. Bring me a question. If I can't answer your question, I'm going to find the answer to it. I haven't been stumped yet though. So, right. you know, I love you're, that you're question, you did, when people are yeah. like, it's so hard to oh. get help in the cloud. And, yeah. and then what did right you do? I went on Facebook Live and I showed how easy it is. My buyers are walking on the door right now. Hey, good luck with your showing. I love you, my brother. Have a great rest of your day. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, hit subscribe, David Serpa, DXP Realty. If you're thinking about reaching out, either uh, hit hit up Zach directly, Zachary Bach at EXP Realty, or uh, Zachary Bach on Facebook. That guy right there, that handsome uh, gentleman. And uh, come be a part of what we're, we have going on. Don't come to just follow, come to lead, come be a part of this. Uh, Zach and I uh, are ready to check the egos at the door right. in the epic bucket, as Zach says, Paul Belmutis. Well, I, 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 I have my laptop out. I was actually doing some work while you guys have <laughs> Zach, really... Zach's working. Cool. All right. All right. Isn't that yeah. fantastic? It's like yeah. when I see Antonio Mendoza show up at, at an event and he's walking out, he's got on his phone, or I see him oh, at an event. All right, my brother. That's what that's what happens when you're working with Zach Bach. He's got he's got things to do. He said, I gotta be done at 10. Best of luck to you all. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, David Serp by DXP Realty on YouTube. Feel free to share this video out to anybody that might be considering this. And if you are a part of this valley in Temecula and you want to be a part of what we have going on, come jump in with Zach and Cora and uh and Paul and everyone else, uh Karen. Everyone that is a part of this, uh, we're heading to Beverly Hills next week. Uh, we've got a lot of really cool things going on, and we'd love for you to come in and make this environment a little bit better with us. So uh, everybody, have a very productive Thursday. School here in about 20 minutes. So uh, have a great day. I hope to see you at EXP Realty.